Good morning and welcome to Unity Way Church. Happy Sunday. My name is Reverend Mike Schoonover and I'm the minister here at Unity Way Church in Vista, California and I do welcome you to our YouTube channel. I know this service will be a blessing to you whenever you do watch it and I already know that you are a blessing to us. So I just say thank you for tuning in. This morning, our opening affirmation is from Wings of Prayer. This is from Daily Word. This is July the 19th, 1929. I am unfettered and unbound, triumphant, glorious, splendid. I just love that affirmation. It reminds me so much of Emerson because he just was so alive with the vibrational life. Uh, as we go into this service, I'd invite us to really reawaken within us the splendidness within us, the, the gloriousness of our own nature. And we're unbound. If we have limitation in our life, it's not because of the metaphysics that we're studying. It's something else. Uh, Unity Way Church is a metaphysical church, sometimes called New Thought. We affirm there's only one presence and one power, God the good, the omnipotent. And we know that with that understanding, we truly can do what Jesus the master teacher taught us to bring the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom truly of freedom into this third dimensional plane. And our life and our circumstances change. That's the promise of metaphysics. And if you believe that high truth understanding with me, I invite you to please use a mantra we use here at our church, which is, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. And now here is Steve with The Daily Word. Good morning. The word for today is power. And the affirmation is, my thoughts and words reflect my divine inheritance. When I listen to my inner conversation and recurring thoughts, I may hear fear-based limiting talk, or I may hear positive words encouraging me to live joyfully and confidently. The choice is mine. Through my divine gift of power, I take command of my thoughts and of my life. I release thoughts of powerlessness, and as I do, my negative self-talk diminishes. I affirm my divine inheritance of faith, wisdom, understanding, and strength with my thoughts, words, and actions. The power to live a full life is mine. I embrace insights I've gained through experience. I own my mistakes without shame or embarrassment. I am eager to learn. I am willing to try new things and stretch myself. In power, I thrive. And from Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruits. And once again, the affirmation is, my thoughts and words reflect my divine inheritance. And now here's Reverend Michael. Thank you, Steve. And what a powerful, well, the word is power, but what a powerful wor word that we can take into our own understanding uh, truly in our practice of truth and metaphysics. This power uh, that the Daily Word spoke about really is our inheritance. And it's the power not to be destructive. It's a power that allows us to be authentic. And that's really what we want. That truly is our divine inheritance. Right now, I'd like to sync up with Saint Unity back at Unity Village in Missouri, where there's somebody holding that sacred watch holding those prayer claims. I would like to bless that setting. I'd like to bless the soul that's holding that high watch that was started back in 1890. Uh, again, I'd like to bless those prayer claims. And I'd like to, by the power of truth, to bless each one of those prayer claims. And some of our church prayer claims are back there also. With the power of truth, that those souls that are seeking prayer, that they may know they have an inheritance of absolute power to work through with the energy that their soul creates, to live the life, to live the dreams, to have their prayers answered.
And by the power of omnipresence, I'd like to bring some of that healing energy from the Un Silent Unity Chapel into our sanctuary here. And as it permeates this room, it goes out over our property. And it goes to wherever you may be, whenever you watch this YouTube this YouTube channel or our lesson, this lesson that I'm going to be presenting, may you feel and know the energy, the tingle, that you are alive, that your inheritance is your divinity, and the inner divinity within you, which you incarnated with, will never leave you, and it will never fail you. And we just know that to be so. And again, we just use this powerful mantra, which is thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, truth. Thank you, metaphysics that shows us and allows us how to apply these teachings to our life. So again, we can say thank you, God. We can really live in a splendid new consciousness right here and right now. Oh, I picked a wonderful little comic for you. I think you'll like it. And there's a woman there. I call her a hot grandma. And the caption says, oh, I know you're going to love this. Hey, 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 come on, stay in your seats. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And the comic says, a clean house is the sign of a broken computer. And you know that's true. Because you know hot grandma or hot granny uh, would be, uh, she'd be, won't be vacuuming if her computer was working. I know that is so funny. Come on. Hold in your seats. Stay in your chairs. Come on. They're going to wonder what kind of church we are. You're floating out of your chairs laughing so hard. And from my minister's joke page, I have a real ditty I'd like to share with you. And it is a minister. A minister told his congregation, next week I plan to preach about the sin of lying. To help you understand my sermon, I want each of you today to read, or this week, read chapter, or read Mark chapter 17. The following uh, Sunday, uh, as he prepared to deliver his sermon, the minister asked for a show of hands, a show of hands. He wanted to know how many people in the congregation had read, as he wanted them to read for the Sunday lesson, Mark chapter 17. Every hand in the sanctuary went up. Every hand. Can you imagine that? The minister smiled and said, well, well. Uh, the Gospel of Mark only has 16 chapters. There is no 17. There is no chapter 17. Now I will proceed with my sermon on the sin of lying. Oh, you know that is so funny. Oh, humor is good for the soul. Stay in your seats, please. People are going to wonder what's going on in here. We're making such a noise. They're going to think this is a discotheque. Humor is good for the soul, and I... And, really challenge you to bring more humor into your life, more joy into your life. You deserve the best and humor will get you there quicker. This morning my talk title is Ladybug Blessings. And what I'd like to share with you with this the theme of Ladybug Blessings is that usually in life we're only focused on the big blessings, the huge blessings. Instead, I'd like to focus this talk on a Ladybug Blessing, the smaller blessings, because the smaller blessings lead to even bigger blessings because they add up and they add up and they add up. And I think it's very important that we really give uh, credence, we give our conscience to every blessing that we have, and especially the small ones too, which we'll be talking about this morning. I'd like to open up with some scripture, and this is the letter to the Romans. This is written by Paul, and this is Romans 12, verse 2. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so you may discern what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. And I'm here to say the will of God for you is plenty. The will of God for you is health. The will of God for you is to really acknowledge not only the big blessings, but also the small ladybug blessings too that appear in our life all the time. Because again, the little and the little and the little, it adds up. And we need to acknowledge that in our journey. I'd like to say a little bit about ladybugs. They had some fun researching ladybugs. Ladybugs really are, uh, they're a gift. They're seen as a gift. They're really seen as a, a really small blessing. Ladybugs symbolize spiritually blessings for each and every one of us. They symbolize trust, adaptability, 
abundance, fulfilled wishes, and also can bring uh, some remembrance of past lives. So every time you see a little ladybug, and you know they're pretty small, similar to the blessings that we have in our life, the blessings that we don't really acknowledge, when they open up a new line at the food store so we can be the first in line, when the meter, when you're trying to get onto the freeway, the light goes off and the carpool, you can just merge into traffic. The little things I'd like us to focus on consciously, because I think so many times we're focused just on the big things. And I'm not saying you don't want to be thankful for big blessings, but today it's the small blessings. It's the small blessings I'd like to really help us to focus on and really see we have a lot of ladybug blessings in each and every one of our lives. And actually these blessings show up every day. Uh, red ladybugs with black spots, uh, they're very auspicious, and it sends out a strong warning signal to predators around them. It's a sign that says, back off. That's kind of the, it's the, I wouldn't say fragrance, it's the smell that they give off. Uh, seeing this ladybug represents personal power, freedom, and protection. Who doesn't want more personal power, like the Daily Word says? And when you have a purpose in your life, you can use this power, which is unlimited. It's your divine inheritance, and it leads to more freedom and actually protection for you. You're always surrounded by your aura of protection, but a ladybug can help us remember that, that divine idea. Interesting uh, about ladybugs, they can survive in, in practically any climate, which I, don't, I did not realize. And this is what I found fascinating. A ladybug bug can live for up to nine months without food. Don't ask me how it does it, I don't know, but that's what the science says. They can live for over nine months without food. I think it's something. To, I think we need to have a little bit more respect for these little ladybugs that pop into our life, or pop into, or around our plants when we're sitting outside on the patio. Symbolically, a dead ladybug represents the ending of relationships or cycles of events in our lives. So again, through history, symbolically, spiritually, ladybugs have different meanings in different cultures. And so again, if you see a ladybug and you acknowledge the blessing it brings, it can also give you insight into your own life. If a ladybug lands on you, which sometimes they do, it's a sign you will experience a great fortune in the near future. It's really a sign. We don't really believe in luck, but we believe that the universe is flowing in our direction. And so the next time a ladybug lands on your finger or on your back, think about that. Small little blessing but it really means it's symbolically for us to acknowledge the small blessings in our life. And it also is a, something that we can look at to really realize again that we deserve the best. We deserve the best life now. Again, ladybug, their meaning and symbolism, ladybugs are known also to be talented. They also are, symbolize protection. They can also represent healing. The healing, they can also represent an evolution in our own consciousness. And again, good fortune and also grace, which is another word for joy. All that when you see a ladybug symbolically. And what you do is when you see a ladybug or you're thinking about a ladybug, you ask your own soul self, what does this ladybug mean to me? What does this symbolically mean to me? And your soul will let you know. I truly believe that. Again, that's one of the keys of metaphysics. Uh, ladybugs are also called lady beetles, and there's over 6,000 ladybug species uh, to all the way around the world. Over 6,000 different types of ladybugs in the world. It's fascinating. You just couldn't believe there'd be that many different variations of the ladybugs that we know. And this is from the New Testament. This is Paul's letter. Uh, no, this is a letter from Peter. And this is 2 Peter verse one. Uh, it's chapter 1, verse 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who cared, who called us by his own glory and goodness. See, the glory and goodness within us, which we are called to awaken to our higher self, it's already there. It doesn't have to be poured in. The divinity is within us. What we have to do is discover it. And I'm here this Sunday to remind all of us, including myself, is when we do a self-inventory, to be aware of the little blessings that happen our, in our life. To be aware, to be in the moment, because that's how we live consciously 
truly as the Christ of our own life. A legend, lots of different stories about ladybugs. There's a legend that if you capture a ladybug and you let it go free, it, you will be able to enter heaven's gate even sooner. Very interesting. That's from the, that's from the old country back in Europe. I did some research in the, the people from Sweden associate ladybugs with the Virgin Mary. And they say the ladybug seven spots on that particular species represents the seven virtues. Of course, we know the seven virtues of the Catholic Church. And there are, there are still good ideas that we can reflect on. So each of the seven spots of the ladybug represent um, chastity, uh, faith, good works, concord, and harmony sobriety, patience, and humility. Who doesn't want that, those ideas in their life? See, that's what that ladybug can represent for, to each and every one of us. High ideals, to show up different in our relationships, to show up different in our prayer practice, to show up different in our own consciousness. And this is from Rhonda Breen. It really is this simple. Think thoughts of what you want, and that's all you'll ever get. Again, it sounds very simple, and that's truly metaphysics. What we think and what we feel and what we image with, with feeling, to a feeling, will become a part of our field of attraction in our aura, and it will be attracted to us. The older teachers would say we magnetize those, those energies, those images, those, those people and circumstances into our life. Remember, we're a metaphysical church, which we teach metaphysics. And metaphysics is concerned with time, space, and really our circumstances. Because metaphysics gives us the ability to control our time and space and circumstances. And this Sunday, I'd like to remind us that thinking about a little ladybug, which doesn't mean very much in your hand, can symbolize some great blessings. The beginning of some great blessings in your life and in your relationships. What animals eat ladybugs? It's very interesting. Birds are ladybugs' main predators, uh, but fall victim also to frogs, wasps, spiders, and dragonflies. So I think it's something to think about. And you know, they have their predator. You know, there's, that's just the way the evolution in this planet works. So I'd like to share with you a story about ladybugs, or a couple ladybugs that have changed history. The French so revered ladybugs, they viewed them as really messengers of Mary. And of course, we know in ancient times or in the Middle Ages, uh, France was very, very Catholic. And they could also not only represent Mary, but also God. According to one story, which I found, there was a man who was condemned to death by King Robert I, and he lived nine, uh, 972 to 1031. That's the age of this, when the story occurred. Just as the man's neck was placed on the executor's block, doesn't say really what he was uh, in trouble for, but as his neck was placed on the block, a ladybug landed on his neck. At first, the executor just shooed the insect away. Shoo, shoo. The ladybug persisted and kept landing on the man's neck. Hmm, very interesting. Seeing this as a sign, as a sign from the Virgin Mary, uh, the king stayed the execution and ordered further investigation into this manner in which this man was going to be executed. And according to the story, which is so fascinating, several days later, the authorities found the real criminal who confessed to the crime, so the first prisoner was granted his freedom. Think about that. Man's life was spared by a ladybug that just kept landing on his neck. I think in our life, we have situations, little blessings that show up in our life. But when we don't acknowledge them, they maybe don't grow into bigger blessings. Maybe this is the Sunday that we can look at all these blessings, even if it looks small, and we can allow it to grow. It reminds me of Charles Fillmore when he was, they were going to build 913 Tracy, the original building in Kansas City, and he was at a prayer meeting, and they were talking about this building fund, and they wanted to build uh, the building again at 913 Tracy, which is, is still there. Somebody gave, Charles Fillmore from the audience gave him a penny, a single penny. And they all laughed about it. Charles Fillmore didn't laugh about it. He took the penny and he blessed it. Because you see, a hundred pennies make a dollar. A hundred dollars make a hundred dollars. That penny is substance. 
And whatever we bless and whatever we believe in, even if it's a small little penny like a ladybug, it leads to something else. And very not too soon after that, they were able to build that building. And again, because Charles Fillmore represented small blessings, he saw blessings even in the little things of that penny. Most people would laugh that off. Save it for yourself. And I know that's back in the time you could get more things with a penny. But again, it brings up this idea of ladybugs and small blessings. Let's see. Let us be aware of the small blessings in our life. Let's use them to our greatest, greatest glory. This is from the great psychologist Abraham H. Maslow. Inner problems and outer problems tend to be deeply similar and to be related to each other. You see, what happens within is going to show up on the outside world. If we're unhappy, it's going to show up in our circumstances outside, in our relationships. If we are happy, it will shift and change those relationships. I'm not saying it happens right away. Sometimes it's just a little shift, a little shift kind of like finding a little ladybug, the small blessings in our life. Are you willing to acknowledge that the small blessings can lead in the direction that you want to go to truly embrace every day, to really be and live who you have come to be? I'd like to share with you an American legend about ladybugs, and it says, ladybugs represent a desire and a wish. And they say for a wish or desire to come true, you first must capture a ladybug and you whisper your wish into, their, into the ladybug. A ladybug uh, makes no sound, and the Indians believe so because the ladybug doesn't make any sound. It can't reveal the wish to anyone, only the great spirit. The great spirit hears and sees the wish. Think about that. Symbolically, we have a blessing, a small blessing, a small little blessing, we can say. Do you speak to that blessing and say, Thank you, God. I acknowledge this small blessing. This is leading into a direction that I want to go. And knowing that when you speak to that, that small blessing, symbolically is a small ladybug, things happen. Shift happens. Little shift happens, which leads to bigger shift changing in our lives. This is from an unknown author. A ladybug sighting has been linked with luck in love, marriage, healing, and newness in life. Who doesn't want those attributes in your life? We want some more good fortune. We want to be uh, really in love with the people we want to be in love with. We want the marriage and the healing and the newness of life. I really like the idea of newness of life. I think sometimes we, when we don't see our small blessings, we become kind of stale. We become kind of rigid. Maybe this Sunday in our self-reflection, we can really focus on the small blessings. And again, small blessings are determined where you are in consciousness. So what I see as a small blessing to somebody else might be a huge blessing. But again, consciously, you get to determine that. That's the, really the symbology, really, of a ladybug in the blessings that it brings to our lives. Again, ladybugs in many different cultures bring many different beliefs. Uh, ladybugs are, again, lady beetles or a ladybird beetle uh, in some countries. They're not called ladybugs. In the Asian culture, uh, they believe catching a ladybug and then setting her free. She will fly to your true love and whisper your nature, uh, your name, excuse me, into their ear. See, again, it's like a messenger. And I think blessings are a messenger too for us, if we're willing to pay attention. Another uh, belief I found is that the number of spots on the ladybug's back correlates to the number of months that will pass until you meet the one you truly love. Again, all these different ideas really in a single ladybug. All these ideas, again, small blessings. Who doesn't want the things that you desire to show up in your life? Whether you're looking for a tie, you're looking for a book, you're looking for a record, whatever it might be. If you acknowledge the little things in life, they lead to bigger things. And again, that symbolically is what a ladybug blessing can mean to us in consciousness. We become aware of it. Uh, and this is from Charles Roth, the Unity Minister. And from the depths of your being will come the ringing answer. The answers we seek for our life are already within our soul. We just need to turn within and we need to be still and we need to acknowledge the little blessings because shift doesn't always 
happen immediately. It happens in stages. It reminds me of Catherine Ponder used to teach this. It's in her books, the great uh, prosperity teacher, but prosperity is more than just uh, prosperity, it's health also, is that people would say, well, when I become rich or win the lotto, then you'll know I'll come back and see you, Miss Ponder, and I'll tithe, I'll start tithing then. And Catherine Ponder always used to say, here's the deal. If you don't tithe, quote, when you don't have any money, you're not going to tithe after you win the lotto. You're only fooling yourself. And I think really that symbolically is kind of like these ladybug blessings. If we start being aware of the little blessings in our life, we have little ladybug blessings every single day that show up. Now, granted, they might not be literally a ladybug, but again, symbolically, the things that happen in our life that we're happy for. You know, we go and have lunch. We, we do something we enjoy doing. We go out and pick a piece of fruit off of one of our trees. We relish eating that fruit. That's a ladybug blessing. That's a ladybug blessing that we can acknowledge and truly, again, change the vibrational grid of our own life and our soul. Uh, La'a ladybugs, uh, they have spots plus. They eat a garden pests such as aphids. One of the things that uh, ladybugs live on are a lot of the diseases that happen to different plant life. Isn't this world so universally in sync, taking care of itself? This, this evolution within this planet within us, taking care of the plants and the foliage. Everything has a place. Every blessing has a, has a place in our life and our consciousness. But we gotta remember them. We have to wanna remember them. We have to be looking and seeking those ladybug blessings in our life. And again, I'd like to share a little story or a little idea I found searching in Japan. The Japanese call the ladybug uh, red girl, red girl, and associate the ladybug with celestial bodies of the heavens. So they see ladybugs as really a celestial being, a divine sign, a divine uh, awakening, it will come like an omen of good fortune. And see, to really see good fortune or to quote, have a good omen is to acknowledge our blessings. Again, the big, the small ones are the real big ones. We get to choose which ones we want to acknowledge. And I think we should be acknowledging all our ladybug blessings. This is from A Course in Miracles. Fear is not justified in any form. Symbolically, what I'm trying to stress here is that I don't care how small you think that blessing is. Acknowledge it. Say, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, metaphysics, that is allowing me to see things a little bit differently. That's what a ladybug blessing can be for us. And when we bless things, things change. On the flip side, when we curse things and we whine about things, that grows too. Remember, it's where we put our focus. Whatever we focus, whatever we concentrate on, it expands. And whatever we take our focus from or our concentration from, it gets smaller and smaller. But again, it goes back to those ladybug blessings. Are you willing to see a blessing and acknowledge it? Say, thank you, God. A superstition, a superstition. Uh, there is some superstition about ladybugs. Ladybugs, uh, but it's a good superstition that ladybugs, again, are an indication of good luck, good fortune, blessings coming into your life. Who doesn't want more blessings? Who doesn't want more blessings to be of joy, to be of ease, to be able to laugh about different things in your life? This is from uh, Roy Eugene Davis. You can't be or you can't be, have new experiences if you are the same old person. Sameness within means sameness without. Today, this Sunday, this is uh, January the 22nd, are you willing to step into a higher understanding of who you are? Are you willing to look for the little things to, be, to really satisfy you? And again, if you're not satisfied with the little things and you're just waiting for the big, big things, I encourage you, you're, you're probably gonna have to be waiting a longer time. Start with the little things, allow them to grow. Allow, allow your soul's energy to bless whatever that thing is showing up in your life. Just like Fillmore held that penny, knowing that that penny wasn't going to build the building at 913 Tracy, but he knew by blessing it, it was substance. And that's really what uh, 
blessings are, ladybug blessings are, they're a sign that the universe is working with us. The universe has information it wants to share with us. But again, you, we have to self-reflect and ask our soul, what wisdom? Because the wisdom can mean different things to different people. A ladybug sighting also reminds us to remain calm on our quest on our true life path. As we're traveling down the path of life in our practice of truth and metaphysics, sometimes things don't always turn out perfectly. You know, sometimes we end up taking some roads that we didn't think we would have to take, but we can still bless those roads knowing that we're moving forward, we're growing as we acknowledge those blessings. And even in the darkest hour, we can always find a blessing somewhere. No matter what we're going through, whether it's a financial challenge or a health challenge, find the small blessing. Start there. Bless that ladybug blessing within you and know that as you bless it, it will expand and lead to other blessings in your life. True enlightenment is a path and it's never ending. Uh, we stick with what we are inherently know to be our truth and we exhibit patience. Who doesn't need more patience? especially in 2023. Patience is good. Uh, determination, transformation. We can't go wrong. When you've acknowledged that you're divine, that you came into this incarnation with an inheritance of divinity, that can never, never lead you down a path where you don't want to go. Actually, it puts us back in vibration to see the blessings, to see the big blessings, and also acknowledge the small ladybug blessings in our life. And this is from Tyen Day Dayton, PhD. In other words, unresolved pain from yesterday gets transferred onto the relationships and circumstances of today without knowing how and why. Well, we know the how and why is because if we're not living in our divinity, we're going to project that. And many times in challenging situations, it's not necessarily the situation that really is where the problem is or the challenge is. It's the perception that is being, uh, how it's being viewed in our life. And we're the ones that offer that. We're the ones that offer that. Because if we have a clear perspective and we acknowledge tiny blessings and big blessings, we show up differently. We view these situations differently. That's really the promise of acknowledging every ladybug blessing in your life. Uh, I would say though, and I didn't know this, that uh, ladybugs can really stain fabric. And, and also they give off a little bit of an odor uh, when they die it, because they release this fluid also as a defense mechanism. And whenever they feel threatened, threatened, they let off this odor. And so this way gives ladybugs a little bit of time to leave or get out of the predator's direction. You notice how every blessing, every insect serves its purpose. There's no mistake. There is a reason for ladybugs. There's a reason for everything in this world in which we live and move and have our being. And I think as we look at the symbology of this beautiful earth and the creation that we have, we can really see truth and wisdom all around us. And it starts with acknowledging the little ladybug blessings in our life. We can do that. This is from Unity Minister Sue Sicking. Never run away, for you have the power to walk the path that is your own. And don't forget, make the choice now. Metaphysics teaches one thing. It's living in the now moment. We call it omnipresent. Really, we can never be in the past or even in the future. We think we can. We always are in the now moment. Maybe this Sunday we can acknowledge, again, these ladybug blessings in our life. Start acknowledging. Just put that idea out there into your awareness that you're going to acknowledge every blessing, whether big or small. But I'm focusing on the small ones because I think there's a tendency the ego wants us only to give credence to the huge blessings. And I'm not saying you can't be thankful for those, but I really believe in our life day by day, little blessings, little blessings. These ladybug blessings show up on our life. And they change us energy-wise. They change us into happier, happier souls. A ladybug sighting also can in indicate that the Spirit of God or humans are looking out for us. We have people. We're protected. We're never alone. The universe has our back. 
And if the universe appears that it's working against us, I encourage you to go into prayer and realize what kind of God understanding do you have? Because when you affirm only one presence and one power, one life, one substance, you know there's nothing working really against you. We can think we have enemies, but in truth we don't. In truth, we realize that if we have, quote, what's appearing as an enemy or uh, friction, that somehow we've walked into it, and it's usually because the ego is screaming at us, telling us to go in this direction. Or the ego's famous line, it's not fair, it's not fair, this shouldn't be happening to us. Let's go into self-reflection. And I guarantee you, if you acknowledge ladybug blessings, even the small little ladybug blessings in your life, shift will happen in your soul spiritually. This is from a Mother Teresa, some wisdom. I can do things you cannot do. You can do things I cannot do. Together, we can do great things. This Sunday, are you willing to step into a higher understanding of really what blessings can mean to you? Are we willing to stand up and be adults in our own consciousness, to be mature mentally, physically, and emotionally? I believe that starts by acknowledging our small little ladybug blessings. It's a way we can open ourselves up to that, to be who we've come to be. I'd say or encourage you that the next time you see a ladybug or it lands on you, appreciate the protection and really know that it is there to bless you because it's reminding you that you deserve to be blessed. And you do because you're a spiritual being. And in closing, I'd like to end with this, uh, some words. A ladybug wears no disguises. She is just what she advertises. A speckled bright spectacle. A fashion statement with wings. A miniature orange and red kite. A tiny god delight, dot to dot. May this be the Sunday that we slow down enough we really slow down enough to acknowledge every ladybug blessing that occurs in our life. And I'm here to tell you whether you see a ladybug or you don't, the little blessings are there. Remember the ladybug and really know that those, those uh, blessings that are coming into your life, you need to and you want to and you desire to acknowledge them because that's what changes our life. That is what allows us to step into a greater inheritance. So again, this Sunday, this week, may we truly look for all the little ladybug blessings in our life and just say, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. This is the time in our service. We have opportunity to share our love offering, our gifts, and our ties. I invite you to take whatever your gift may be and imbue it with some ladybug blessing love, some real love. Uh, you can go to unityway.com and do an electronic donation, and we say thank you. And you can go to unityway.com and get our uh, physical address, and again, we say thank you. And we are a tithing church. We believe in the law of circulation. We believe in the law of blessing. Blessing changes things, especially if we remember who we are and we acknowledge our ladybug blessings. If you join me with our prayer, divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I give and all that I receive. And we just say, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. And now our very famous unity prayer protection. When we say this prayer, I invite you to see each one of the ideas of light, love, power, presence as ladybug blessings in your life. Very, very small, but very, very powerful for changing consciousness. If you join me, please. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. All is well when we remember every single ladybug blessing in our life and in our world. May that happen and start today, right now. I'll see you next Sunday. And we just say again, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. Find those ladybugs because those ladybug blessings are out there waiting for you to acknowledge them. God bless. God bless.